Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So once again, here I am doing a chemistry STEM school related video. I honestly don't remember the last time that I did a normal video. So a common question that I get is whether a person should do an REU, which I'll explain what that is in a few minutes. And I was actually talking about it with my friend the other day and it kind of got me thinking about whether you should do an REU if you're going to med school or if you want to get your PhD or you either just going into the job for so I thought that I'd make a video about it and just kind of talk about the benefits of an REU, what it is, and whether you should do it. But before I get into this video, please don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos and like this video, give it a thumbs up because that will really help with the algorithm and encourage me to do more videos for you guys because I'll actually see that you're watching and I'm not just talking to myself on a camera. So one of the videos that I've published on YouTube that's kind of been getting a lot more views recently is my research internship experience video. I will put it in the little I and in the link in the description if you guys want to watch that. It's really just a casual day of when I was doing research at the university I went to, Salisbury University, and I kind of just vlogged throughout the day. It was only a half day and I was with my friend Ashley, so it was kind of a chill day of research and having fun stuff like that, just kind of a behind the scenes. So in case you guys don't know, an REU is a research experience for undergraduates. You can do this over an array of STEM fields and I'm guessing you could do it for other fields as well because as long as it's research, it counts I guess. Since I majored in chemistry, I kind of mostly know about chemistry and biology REUs. I don't really know anything else about other areas, but I think if someone is asking whether they should do an REU, I always say yes. That is unless you're going to med school specifically and you know you only want to go to med school. The only reason I say that is that for med school and PA school and different schools like that, they require a lot of hands-on clinical on the floor experience that not only is volunteer but is also paid, and so that's a lot of work for one student in addition to doing classes and everything. I feel like you could put more emphasis on your experience and um, clinical experience and then also do maybe just a few credits of research during school and I feel like you'd have more time to get your clinical experience in because I know you need a lot of hours for that but again I'm just speaking from personal experience and that's what I've noticed by people that have gone into the medical field and they didn't have as much research experience and more scribing or clinical experience and they still got into their med school or PA school without as much research experience as say other people that got their PhD after graduating um, their university. So personally my experience was that I had an internship at my college uh, my summer after my junior year. So right before my last year of school I got an internship at Salisbury University. So basically my internship I think consisted of 10 weeks I want to say. I'm not exactly sure if I'm wrong I'll correct it on the screen but I'm pretty sure it was 10 weeks and it was paid. My uh, my apartment that I stayed in was not paid for, but I did get a stipend that probably would have covered most of my apartment rent. So know that if you get an REU that you will get paid for most of the time. I think for chemistry, pretty much all of them were paid for and they pay for where you stay and they also tell you where you're going to stay so you can have roommates that are also in the same internship experience. And so I highly encourage you guys do this if it's not paid for and you're doing a chemistry or biology internship. Try to look for ones that they pay for because not only will you get your stay paid for, but if you go to a different city, a different state, anything like that, it's just a really fun experience to be able to have that extra money and learn a lot in the lab in addition to you get to explore a new place. A lot of times they have like one or two activities that are like bigger that they'll pay for and you can go with all the other interns and kind of experience, do a tour, whatever they make plan. And I think this is a really good opportunity for you to explore a new city and also get that experience that you might want for your program or your grad school after graduation. So a lot of people ask when they should apply to an REU and I honestly suggest that you start applying 
for the summer after your sophomore year. And although I feel like it's really difficult to know exactly what you wanna do after undergrad, unless you kind of went into school knowing what you wanted to do, I think it's difficult to know what division of chemistry or even biology that you want to focus on. And so I think that the earlier the better um, as far as experience goes. So if you want to get a RU that maybe exposes you more to organic chemistry after you've taken your orgo classes in sophomore year, you'll have that ex base knowledge experience from your orgo classes enough to get you an RU for the summer after your sophomore year. And I think that that really sets you up for the confidence you need to kind of know the direction that you wanna go in, in addition to if you wanna shoot for another RU the summer before your senior year. And so this means that you probably should start applying during your sophomore year, which I feel like sounds really intimidating. You're fresh out of your freshman year and you don't really know what you're doing, but <laughs> trust me on this, if you get an RU and you get in after your sophomore year, you are automatically set up to just be a little bit more successful for your next RU should you pursue that and also for extra experience to get into grad school. Okay, so I think that RUs not only will build your confidence in your lab skills and your research skills, and also it'll give you an idea of what you might wanna focus on or maybe what you might not wanna focus on in grad school. So I feel like that's really good if you're gonna get your PhD, but I think it builds your confidence as a person, as a scientist, presenting and talking about your project to other people. I think that being a scientist is really important to know how to present your ideas, not only to other scientists, but also to other people that might not have the base knowledge of maybe the sciences that you're focusing on. And in RU, you have to do a lot of presentations, so I think that really helps with that aspect of it. And you build a lot more confidence in knowing that you kind of know what you're talking about, and if you are the sole researcher for that project. Like, I was the only research student for my project in undergrad, and so I became really confident on it because I felt like, wow, I was the person who researched this and helped develop this protocol and I can geek out about it all I want because I feel like I kind of know what I'm talking about, you know? And just that feeling of achievement, I feel like alone is the reason to do an RU because one, it just makes you feel great about being a real scientist and not just taking classes. And two, you actually can geek out about it because it's like your project, you know? So speaking of geeking out about it, I feel like I've kind of geeked out about this enough for the video, but I really hope that helped you guys for those of you watching and if you guys have any other questions, please be sure to comment down below and I'll try my best to answer them. I mostly do these videos just for the people that kind of comment down below, say how stressed they are and confused and just like I was and I always say this in my videos that I'm really just doing these to help other chemists, other students that are majoring in chem or STEM students that really just don't really know what they're doing and they're trying to figure it all out and that's how I felt. But hopefully this video helped you guys out. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more videos by me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!